Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning on Form 2 Mathematics and our topic for today is volume of common solids. So today we are going to be discussing the volume of a pyramid. So in the previous lesson we looked at the volume of a prism. So for today we will look at how can we calculate the volume of a pyramid. So the volume of a pyramid is calculated by a third base area times height. There's a tendency for students to forget the a third. As when you get the base area, make sure you multiply it by height, but don't forget the a third. Let's look at a few examples together. So remember the formula is a third base area times height. So we will start first by getting our base area. So our base area is a rectangular base. So it is 12 centimeters times 4 centimeters, which gives us 48 centimeters squared. And our height in this case is 8 centimeters. So our formula is going to be a third times 48 times 8. <clears throat> so that is going to be uh, 48. So 48 times 8, and then you divide by 3, which gives us 128 centimeters cubed. Let's do another example. So in this case now, you notice like if you look at your pyramid, it is a square-based pyramid, but we've not been given the height. So we are going to look for height using a Pythagoras theorem, but in a minute. First, let's get the base area. The base area, since it is a square, is going to be side times side, which is 4 times 4, which gives us 16 centimeters squared. And then now, for us to get the height, first of all, you draw the base, the, 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 the square, that is 4 centimeters, 4 centimeters. If you draw a diagonal, across and another diagonal across if you want to get the size of this diagonal which looks like a, it looks like this so this is four this is four we will look for this diagonal which we will call we can call x so this is going to be x squared is equals to four squared plus four squared which is the same as x is equals to the square root of 16 plus 16 which is the square root of 32. So we are going to do the square root of 32, which gives us 5.66. So that is the, the value of the diagonal. But remember, this diagonal has been cut into half by another diagonal. So we can divide this 5.66 and divide by 2, which is going to give us 2.83. So this value here is 2.83, this is 2.83. So now we have the height at the center, and then we have that half of the diagonal, and then we have the slanting height. The slanting height is 8 centimeters. Whatever we have just solved is 2.83, and now we have at the height that we are trying to look for. So what we are going to use trigonometry, which is the same as 8 squared is equals to height squared, plus 2.83 squared. This is the same as bringing this this side, which will give us 8 squared is equals to 8 squared minus 2.83 squared. 8 squared is 64 minus 2.83 squared. If you square that, you're going to get 8. So 64, 64 minus 8 is going to give us 56. So we can do the square root of both sides so that we can get the height as the square root of 56, which is the same as 7.48. So now we can go back to our formula, which is going to be a third times base area, which we saw it is 16, times height, which is 7.48. So that is the same as 16 times 4. Uh, 7, 7. 4, 8, and then divide by 3, which gives us 39.89. 39 
centimeters cubed. Let's do another example. So in this question, it's just like the, the one that we had started with. You have been given all the values. So the base area, it's a square. So it's going to be side times side, which is 6 times 6, which gives us 36 centimeters squared. And then the height is 12 centimeters. So it's going to be a third times base area, which is 36 times 12. So this is the same as 36 times 12 divided by 3, which gives us 144 centimeters cubed, which is our volume. And finally, the last question, the figure below is a square-based pyramid, A, B, C, D, V, such that A, B is 7 centimeters, and V, A, V, B, V, C, and V, D is 9, meaning all the slanting height are the same size. So you have been told to look for the height of the vertex, but we also further go ahead and calculate also the volume. So when you take the base, the base is a square, which is 7, 7. If you cut a diagonal through that, as we said, you can be able to calculate the size of the diagonal using trigram, uh, Pythagoras theorem, which is going to be x squared is equal to 7 squared plus 7 squared which is x squared is equal to 49 plus 49. So 49 plus 49 is going to give us 98. So x squared, we do the square root of both sides, which is going to give us x is equal to, the square root of 98 is 9.9. .9. Remember this diagonal can be also, use, another diagonal can be drawn on the same, and it divides this diagonal, we've just found the value into two. So for us to get the distance between the center and the end, because remember this diagonal can be broken into two, we divide this by two. So basically it's 9.9 .9 divided by two, which gives us 4.95. Now when we draw the height at the center, and then the, the part of the diagonal, which uh, connects with the slant height of nine centimeter. And we've just discussed that the, the half of the diagonal is 4.95. We can use now this information to calculate the height. So this is going to be nine cent squared is equals to eight squared plus 4.95 squared. So this is the same as eight squared is equals to nine squared minus 4.95 squared because we took this this side. So 8 squared is equal to 81. So 4.95 squared is going to be 24.5. So 81 minus 24.5 will give us 56.4.5. If you round off. So if you do square root of both sides, the value of height is going to be the square root of 56. 0.5, which is going to give us 7.5. So this 7.5 is the value of our height, but we said we are going to go ahead and calculate the volume, which is going to be a third base area. Base area is the, is the uh, area of the square, which is 7 times 7, then times height, which is 7.5. So basically it's 49 times 7.5, Divide by 3, which gives us 122.5 centimeters cubed. So that brings us to the end. I hope you have been able to understand. You can get more questions in the app and also more notes in the app. See you in the next lesson.